Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about SDN and uh, Cisco SDN solution. In this module, we are going to go through what is SDN, what is Cisco DNA architecture, what is Cisco DNA center, and uh, give you a brief introduction about the DNAC web UI. So first, what is software defined networking? the SDN. There are lots of answers on the market. Some of them said it's an open solution for customized flow forwarding control in the data center. Some of them said it's a platform for developing new control plans or a means to do traffic engineering without MPLS. And some of them said it's very important because it's a new way to optimize link utilization in the network through new multipass algorithm. To us, actually, SDN, Software Defined Networking, it's a concept. The reason we say it's a concept because different vendors um, use different solutions to deliver SDN. For example, in Cisco's case, there are three criteria to define a SDN and uh, the solution should have all the three criteria. The first one is uh, centralized management, the controller. In Cisco's case, it starts with ACI, Application Centric Infrastructure, this one. And it's called APIC for data center, especially at the beginning designed for Nexus 9000 series switch. And the latest version is moved from data center to enterprise. It's used REST API as well. The name is DNA. Right now, the version is 1.2 is available now. The new direction is 1.3. It's the DNA center, the centralized management, formerly called APICEM. And this product primarily is designed for managed catalyst switch, ISR, ASR routers, wireless LAN with support to Nexus 7K as well. The second criteria is it needs to separate the forwarding and control plan, the forwarding control separation. In Cisco's case, there are three layers. One is at the bottom, the products. In the middle is the system, the Cisco DNA center. At the top is the platforms. The underlay products, you can use Cisco switches, routers, and wireless LAN infrastructure. In the middle, the Cisco DNA center provides a layer of abstraction to make the physical hardware to be transparent to the user. And at the top, you can develop your own application to call the API to manage the entire solution, or you can integrate this solution with third-party software. The third criteria is programmability. The entire solution needs to be programmable. For example, at the top, the DNA center applications, you can write your own application or you can integrate the solution with third-party application. It can have PMP, plug and play to discover the hardware. You can implement the templates of the network solution. Define the network topology. Have the overview of the device. At the northbound, the application calls the REST API to utilize this solution. And from the southbound, the traditional way, you can still use the CLI SSH telnet or use SNMP version 2 and 3 to manage the solution. You can also use NetConf and SDK as well. Cisco DNA architecture. This is Cisco's way to deliver the SDN. It is intent-based networking built on Cisco DNA, takes a software-delivered approach to automating and assuring service across your WAN and your campus and branch networks. So it is an open, extensive, software-driven architecture. So it's software-driven that accelerates and simplifies your enterprise network operations. This is very important. 
and while lowering costs and reduce your risk. In Cisco DNA, it has policy, automation, and analytic. In Cisco's DNA architecture, this is this slide shows the overview. At the top, it's Cisco DNA Center. It's a piece of software sitting on top of a Cisco hardware appliance. It's a server. And at the right side, this is Cisco ISE, Identity Services Engine. You can understand this as a Cisco Radius server. And with the software module, it can deliver automation and assurance. At the bottom, it's the switch, router, wireless LAN controller, and access point. So with this hardware at the bottom, software layer at the middle, and the brain at the top, this is the architect view of Cisco DNA. So during the past 30 years, the network has been revolved a lot. In about 1990s, the network is very simple. It's about several routers interconnected with frame relay. The configuration is very basic. You define the interface with an IP address, enable some routing protocols, and that's it. Nowadays, you can see the network topology has been dramatically changed. You have the core layer. You have aggregation. You have this access with loads of hardwares. At the aggregation layer, you have firewall, logical impasse. You also have intrusion detection and provision system running on the catalyst switches. We switch virtual chassis as well. So this is much complicated compared to 30 years ago. That's why the enterprise requires a software-defined network to automate some of the tasks and with a single panel of glass for the visibility. So the Cisco's answer to these requirements is their DNA center solution. It's a controller for campus of the future. Within the Cisco DNA center, there are several parts. The first one is the design. That's the way to define your sites at high level with all of these components. The second one is a policy. It defines how to use these hardwares, how to use this network. The third one is provision. It will push these policies with the design to the hardware. The last one is assurance. This is like the centralized management, single panel of glass. It tells you what is going on and how healthy the network is. So it delivers a complete network management system. Single panel of glass of management. End-to-end -end health information in real time. Granular visibility and simplified workflow. Automation and provisioning. Zero-touch deployment. Device lifecycle management. Policy enforcement. Analytic and assurance. So verify the intent of network settings. Proactively resolve issue. Reduce time spent troubleshooting. The platform for extensibility. You can integrate the API with third party or with ServiceNow. It's a popular platform to manage the service desk. The service desk, the SLA, and actions can be automated. The journey from API CEM to DNA Center. The API C developed since 2015 and it builds the SDN foundation, use very basic functions. Nowadays, the DNA Center has been updated to 1.3 version. It is based on API CEM 2.x. With this